Good morning! Good morning. This is a nice logging truck over there. Look at that. That is beautiful. Very nice. I've been sitting here staring at it. I don't know if there's anybody in there. It's going to be really awkward if there is, but it's beautiful. Good morning. So, uh, we made it up here. We have to deliver in Shellbrooke, Saskatchewan. I made it up here to Prince Albert, which is just down the road. We're going to go get this stuff off my trailer. I have these like feed trailers or something to do with farmers. I'm not too sure what they are, but uh, there's four of them. I'm going to get them off my trailer to where they need to be, and then I'm going to figure out where I need to be. So let's get going. We need to get everything. We need, we need to get this day on the road. been fighting this wind all day. It's brutal, so it might be a little bit windy on the mic. Gotta prove to you that I'm empty, right? I oh, don't believe me. There's the empty trailer. We're at the co-op in town right now to stop in for a coffee. I'm gonna head to Meadow Lake, Saskatchewan from here. It's about two hours from here. I'm gonna grab a load of lumber and that's taking me down to Detroit Lakes, Minnesota. Temperature out here is definitely starting to drop real quick, especially when the sun goes down. The sun goes down a lot earlier in the day now, so ooh, the temperature goes back down. But during the day, it still gets up there when the sun comes up and then it goes down at night. So uh, it's going to start getting cold. We got a pretty late start today because I drove late last night. So it'll be a lot of night driving today. Hopefully we can get this schedule of mine reset in the next couple of days so that I'm driving during daylight hours. But it'll be a lot of night driving in the future, which makes it difficult to vlog. So heads up, but I'm gonna do my best. I'll show you as much as I can during the day. That sun is going down quick. Let's go get our freight.
guy in front of me over there, he's gonna get loaded. This guy's real quick usually loading up trucks. I don't know if you remember the last time we were here, but oh, this guy's gonna come talk to me right now. Huh? Oh, you tell me to come. I told you they were fast. <laughs> Wasn't he? I had literally just pulled the brakes and I was just letting you guys know that I got here. He's already throwing the first two bundles on me. Oh, oh, careful on the trailer there, bud. Oh, you got it. All right. There he goes. Bing, bang, boom. He'll have me loaded in no time. I'm going to tie this down and I'll be out of here in less than half an hour. All right. Oh, he's just flying too. <laughs> he's gonna go. There he goes. I watch him in the mirror. There he comes. There he comes. And he's smooth too. It's like he's fast and just on point. Oh no, he didn't like it there. He didn't like it there. Okay, he's gonna a little straighter. A little straighter. There we go. Nice. Like a glove. There you go. Yeah, it's got a straight boom. Going back for the next one. Full speed ahead. <laughs> I love getting loaded here. These guys are great. Okay, so uh, this is going like I was telling you to Detroit Lakes, Minnesota. I gotta stay in my truck here till he's done, for obvious reasons. He doesn't want to worry about running over me. He wants to worry about getting this done as fast as he can. So I'll tie it down once he's done. So, yes, Detroit Lakes, Mich not Michigan, Detroit Lakes, Minnesota. Did I say Michigan? Minnesota. Detroit Lakes, Minnesota. And she needs to get there as soon as I can. So probably tomorrow. Tomorrow afternoon or the morning of the day after, depends. Because uh, I think from here it's about a day and a half drive. So I'll try to get the half day done today. It'll be a, mostly a full day tomorrow. We'll try to get there by the end of day, but I'll probably end up unloading it th the day after. We'll see what happens. I gotta figure it out here, do some paperwork. Just giving her, just giving her. <laughs> oh yeah, he's having a good time. All right, so zoom out here, I'll show you my route. All right, so we're starting up here. This is North America. There's the US. We're starting up here in Saskatchewan, right? And we're making our way down to Detroit Lakes, Michigan, right there. 1,500 kilometers, a little less. We're gonna be crossing through here. One second. Ah, I keep pressing the wrong buttons here. I'm going to be crossing through here from Saskatchewan at North Portal, Saskatchewan into Portal, North Dakota. I'm going to go down through North Dakota here to Interstate 94, take Interstate 94 east just over the border into Minnesota to Detroit Lakes, Minnesota. 1,466 kilometers. So uh, we'll unload the day after tomorrow, first thing in the morning, most likely. Then we'll get our schedule back on track. Drive during the day and not the night. 20 minutes. 20 minutes, no joke. <laughs> From the time I pulled the brakes right here and he started loading me, to the time I'm strapped down and ready to go exactly 20 minutes. That's what I call efficient. Yeah, there you go. We're sitting probably at about 77, 78,000 pounds gross. And in that 20 minutes, not only did I have time to throw all the straps, tie them down, tighten them, I also had time to carry my tarps from the back of the trailer where you saw them before up to the front here where I like them better and tie them down here as well. Let's just make sure that the center one here is uh, uh, pinned in here good. Yeah, okay. Good. Right on, right on. 
So I have figured out my route. We're gonna head up here through Meadow Lake, Saskatchewan, go straight south down to North Battleford, take Highway 16 East, all the way down to the 11 at Saskatoon, take that through Regina, and continue all the way down through Estevan, Weyburn, to Portal, North Dakota, across, across there tomorrow. For fuel today, the cheapest fuel on my route is in North Battleford, Saskatchewan. It's coming in at $1.53 a liter, Canadian. One second, I'll uh, get some American speak up here for you guys. So, let's take our calculator out, right? There's 3.785 liters in a US gallon. $1.53 times 3.785, that's $5.79 Canadian per gallon. So let's go to a handy Google right now, Five. 79 CAD2 USD is 422. So in North Battleford, Saskatchewan, right now, converted into US dollars and gallons is $4.22 per gallon. That's the cheapest fuel on my route today. They're the lucky winners of my business. Let's go get it. I'm sitting at just above quarter tanks and just set my GPS to take me straight to the fuel stop now. 172 kilometers, that's about 110 miles or so, I think will be just fine. That'll be perfect. Approaching destination 100 meters. Put the co-op card lock off here to our right. Up here, just past it also on our right. You have arrived at your destination. 906 Battleford Road. This is the exit, eh? That clearly says exit on there, okay? There is the entrance, okay. Fill up with fuel. Take a little breather. They've completely redone this here. I've showed you this already, eh? Made it a lot nicer. Petropass is actually making a huge effort in renovating all of their locations. It's actually really nice. It really needed to be done. Really needed to be done. They're doing a good job. Pilot Flying J coming up from the US has really sort of forced them to raise their standards, which is a good thing. It's always good to have competition in business. Well, 5.73 miles per gallon. This is what we've averaged over the last 1,000 miles or 1,600 kilometers. A little bit below the six that I shoot for, but it is what it is, I guess. Uh, bought 677 liters, 178.8 US gallons. Cost me a dollar 53 liters, so 1,035 dollars and 81 cents Canadian. Oh, and I marked down here that we're in Meadow Lake. That's not correct. We're in North Battleford. I gotta get my my facts straight on here. North Battleford. Oh, where's my? How's this thing work? Ah, that's why. You know how to use whiteout, Josh, don't you? North Battleford. At first I was gonna fuel in Meadow Lake, Saskatchewan, up where we picked this up, but the fuel up there was a dollar and a half, oh, a dollar, one and a half cents more per liter, which would have cost me, let's see. If I would have fueled up there for 100, 677 gallons, uh, 0 0.015 times 677, it would have cost me an extra $10.15. I kept that. That'll get me a couple of coffees. North Battleford, Saskatchewan. There we go. Make sure that I record accurately, because one day in the future, I may need to look back on this. All right, let's continue on. for the GoPro. 
April. But we're in Davidson, Saskatchewan. We're going to see if we can find a place to park, call it a night. Pull into the uh, SO truck stop. <clears throat> it's also got a Tim Hortons there. That'll be nice in the morning. Hopefully, there'll be a spot for me here. This is a pretty big lot. It's all gravel, but my truck's real dirty right now, anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Should be able to find something here. It's looking pretty full already, just seeing that the front here, everybody's piling up here already, that means that in the back must be even more full. the sun came up to end this off shout out to Grant who came and said hi to me and Tim Hortons just now nice to meet you man it's from around my area too it's always nice to meet people from around my area out on the road there's not as many of us anymore so it's great to see that we're still out here okay so this is where I ended up parking there was a couple of trucks parked here beside me this is the safest spot I could find in the back We got in at about 1 a.m. It's now been 10 hours, it's now past 11 a.m. already, so I'm good to start rolling. Uh, we're gonna be in Detroit Lakes, Mi Minnesota. I keep wanting to say Michigan. Detroit Lakes, Minnesota tonight, that's the goal. We wanna stop in Minot. I wanna grab a truck wash, just grab it. I don't know what that means. I wanna get a truck wash, I wanna get the truck clean, because look at this thing. Oh, don't look at it, stop looking at it. It's disgusting, it's dirty, it needs to wash badly. And I'll probably wash myself then to get a shower if I can. Okay. That is for tomorrow's vlog though. Sorry to get you all hyped up. You're going to have to tune in tomorrow. Okay. A little sneak peek for you. Thanks for watching today, everybody. Please remember to drive safe out there. Keep your eyes on the road when you're driving. Keep your stick on the ice and I'll see you tomorrow.